To those who stand in my pulpit, I see you from afar. Where you stand to represent me is holy. Where you stand to send my word forth is holy. I watch you as you take position in my holy church and open your mouth as my vessel. The Lord God rebukes you for your approach to my pulpit. You come with words with unprepared hearts. You come with unprepared hearts from unprepared worship. You come with unprepared worship from an unprepared prayer closet. Your closet is unprepared because I am not the Lord of your life. Your last for position, your last for status, your last for recognition, your last for praise, your last for authority, your last for possessions, your last of self, your last for eloquent words, your last for beauty, your last for money, your last for decorated homes, your last for property, your last to be showcased before men, your last of your eyes, your last for favoritism which overshadows my Holy Spirit, your last for pictures which you call pornography, is a stench to my nostrils. I search for the aroma of the Holy Ones who stand to send forth teaching to my people. I find few who have prepared hearts, prepared worship, and prepared prayer closets. I find few who last only for me. Do you think you can pass through my threshing floor without me catching you? Do you think you can fool the Lord God Almighty? I am sifting and shaking the very foundations of the earth, and only the true will remain. Only the true will I know by name. Woe to the ones who scream to me, Lord, Lord, did I not prophesy in your name? and in your name cast out demons and perform miracles. But we'll be told, I never knew you. Do you think you deserve more than my beloved son? You place the yoke of teaching for material possessions as a sign of spiritual favor. My son, my holy son of me, had no place for his head. He saw the hoofs and legs of horses as he slept in a horse table. Wrapped in cloth, his bed was a feed manger for the horses. He traveled and experienced the elements of this world without shelter. He died on a country and was buried in a borrowed tomb. Do you think you deserve more than my own? Do you think I did not love and provide for my own? His life was not of the physical, but of my spirit. He lived among you with ownership to my kingdom, without earthly possessions. My favor is not the world's definition of favor. My favor is not in man's possessions. My favor is evident within a man's heart that gives all to serve me. Do not be deceived. The adversary has fooled you to believe my hand is upon those with possessions. My sons serve both God and man without possessions. Shame is upon you for claiming knowledge of me while teaching this message. Shame is upon you for living luxuriously while claiming to be my servant. Do you think you deserve more than my son? Rent and wreck your heart before me. If you repent before me now, I will not remove you. Seek me while I am able to be found, for a time is coming. I will raise high the first teachers, for all to see and break them before the people. Humble yourself now, so that I will not hold you in shame before men. My pulpit is holy. Step not upon my altar, step not into position before the people with unprepared heart, 
with unprepared worship and unprepared prayer. I warn you this day, I will hold all false teachers high before the people as an example of foolishness. I warn you this day, I will clear my threshing floor of the chaff, who has been mere waste. I warn you this day, to remove yourself from the position you claim fiercely as yours. My pulpit is holy, my words are holy, my teaching is holy, my servant, my servants whom I recognize are holy. Remove the yoke of possessions, remove the yoke of the world from your neck, and be the one called from long ago. Remember the quickening of your heart when you receive the burning in your heart to serve me. I am a jealous God. Those who stand in my pulpit must nab me first. Those who stand in my pulpit must speak my words. Those who stand in my pulpit must please me and not man. I will guide you. Seek me and I will protect you. Seek man and you will not withstand the fire. Seek me and I will guide your steps. Seek man and you will be discarded as dross. I am a consuming fire. I am a holy God. I claim only a holy people. I am coming with a swift hand to clean my pulpits. Repent now. Go to another for counsel to cleanse the impurity from you. Go to another, the one you have jealousy of. Go for counsel. For it was no jealousy you had. It was your spirit knowing them as true to me. You will find rest in their counsel and freedom for your soul which you have bound in evil. You have stood in my holy pulpit with evil inside you. The great curtain was torn to the holy of holies so that man could enter inside. You have not kept it holy. Free yourself now before it is too late and I remove you publicly. You have built stages in my holy church. You have built restaurants in my holy church. You have built stores inside my holy church. You have allowed buying and selling inside my holy church. You parade people, speakers and events with tables for buying and selling inside my holy church. You have made convenience for the world as a lure to bring them into my holy church. You lure them with convenience because you desire money instead of their hearts. You allow the young to ask for money, raise money and collect money inside my holy church. Is it not written that my son removed the money changers with a whip? You have allowed your youth to act like the world. You have built stages with lights and music to appear appealing as the world. Even your leaders talk and dress like the world. What harmony is there between Christ and Belial? Why do you make my holy church common for the unbeliever? I hold you accountable for allowing this inside my holy church. Guard my pulpit. Remove earthly pleasures from my pulpit. Remove entertainment from my pulpit. My pulpit is not for pleasure. My pulpit is not for performance. My pulpit is not for announcements or discussions. My pulpit is holy. Approach my pulpit with prepared heart, with prepared worship and prepared prayer. Only then will I hear you and you will hear from me. My word is holy. My word is a double-edged sword to quicken even the most hardened heart. The time is here. The people need my word. Teach my word. Remove man's conditions of my pulpit. 
Remove man's tradition of time, of comfort, and of soothing the ear. Make my pulpit a fire for the people to hear the word of your mighty God. I am coming soon to claim a holy people and a holy church. Cast not your eyes away for my word. Cast not your heart to another and claim to be my messenger. I am a consuming fire. Only those with true obedience to these words will withstand the heat I am sending. Follow me and not man. Listen to me and you will hear me. I am raising up a new church, the true church. I am destroying the first church of man. It will not withstand my judgment. Prepare now. Prepare the people. Listen to me and not to man. Discard every tradition you have lived and place it in your fire and I will give you a boldness to carry my message to the people. Listen only to me, and I will guide you. Obey these instructions. Tarry not, for your time is short to repent privately to me. I will no longer accept weak-kneed messengers in my pulpits.